Hello and welcome to my second Evel tutorial. Um, in this one I'll still go uh, with the basics of the interface because I mentioned a few things earlier in my first tutorial about the interface. Uh, for example these five buttons which is really important before creating a good song. You need to know what these do. Um, this is the playlist I showed earlier. Uh, this is where your song will be in. This is a track pattern a track panel, sorry, and this is your patterns. Uh, like I said, this this is um, some kind of layers in Photoshop, but yeah, you have like 999 layers, I think. So you can make a really big song. It's the same for the bars. These are bars. Uh, bars are divided into four um, different notes. And yeah, you can create a lot of bars, as you can see. It's, it's, it will go on after you press something here. It will go on. So, um, that's one thing you need to know. Uh, second thing you need to know is the pattern window. This is the pattern window. Here will be all of your instrument displayed. And, um, also, kicks, claps, whatever, all these stuff. And you can even uh, see Let's see what I can do that. Um, well, I got the tools last tweak. No, I can't do that yet. I'll tweak a little bit about volume. There we go. Also, you see your automation clips, but I will handle that later in another tutorial because that's a really a thing that does not concern with this tutorial so far. You will learn that later. Uh, but it also shows up automation clips, and not only just uh, regular instruments, everything is going to be displayed in the pattern window and you have really much patterns if you just open up everything for example, never mind uh, <laughs> now, if you press plus or minus you can switch between patterns and for some reason FL Studio automatically just adds a main automation on pattern 9 uh, don't worry about this but normally if you start up a song it will be like one bar like this um, just to remove it in order to not see errors later in your project if you work on pattern 9 like play a snare while you don't want a snare here just remove the button uh, the, the bar and that's one thing you need to know also these are knobs this is a pen knob which means you can pen it from your left ear to your right ear but on default it's on mid so it's just between your right and mid ear uh, between your between your right and middle, what the hell? I mean, left and right. It's just it shows up in your brains. Uh, the button next to it is a volume knob. Normally, it's not on maximum like this because that's 100 percent. No, normally it's on like 80, 85 percent, maybe 70 or 75. It just depends on what the instrument will be like. Um, for example, if you have an instrument, uh, a plug, I don't know, I just say something random, and you, you, it's really loud, you just turn it a little bit down, and this one a little bit up, you can hear it up. You can adjust everything you want in here. So that's really awesome about the uh, pattern window. Next is the piano roll, which is another really important thing, because the piano roll is where you create melodies and pads, and you create anything in here, you just be creative in this window and it also shows up the piano bars and uh, it starts with a C you see it's a slab but it's a, just a random kick uh, normally the default key is C5 that's the normal one so um, yeah that's about it there's also another small um, piano key display but I, I prefer the, the large also you have the a, B, C, which means you get the notes as letters, so it's, it's really important if you work on different songs where you only know the notes from. So it's easy to create chords with this thing. Um, next up is the browser uh, window, which is important as well. Uh, this is your explorer window, for example, in uh, Sony Vegas. That's what I use all the time. Um, anything here is a WAV file format or mp3 or something regular that you can open up in your playlist for example I have a clap here it's just a, a downloaded clap I just can 
drag it up here by holding the left mouse just drag it in here or I can go to the patterns where it's already located but if I delete this I click on it I drag it and I can put it in the pattern window and just create like a couple of notes and put it on my playlist that's another option it's not really hard to understand I guess um, next up is the mixer window which is also important uh, the mixer window actually does this all the time it, it adds the fruit limiter just remove it every time you create a song just remove it because it's useless um, also anything we display here is uh, it's, it's different than the pattern windows but let's see if I can I can show you what I mean um, let's go to insert one this is an insert one channel it's called a channel and what you do here is you can uh, add effects like a sound good idea which extends the sound to a bigger and rougher and a little bit distorted uh, you can add a reverb you can add anything you want there's more um, more effects here you can just click it on and you can add it there and um, if you want to have an instrument on this channel insert one go to your um, yeah just click on it this is just just click on it and you see here the FX button you can just drag it up and down with holding your left mouse key and turning your, your left mouse up and down and it's really awesome also you can just no you can't play you can press plus and min plus and minus because that doesn't work here so yeah you just have to click with your mouse key um, so yeah I put it on one that's what I do and I have a reverb I can you see it's just it's a little bit echoish now you can turn the effect down to hear the difference so that's about it um, another thing this is a really good tip um, let's see where it's located at um, 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 um. Oh, let me find it come on where is it should be somewhere here no um, channels channels no I can't find it now but uh, where is it then wait I thought it was in view Toolbars? No. Anyway, just never mind that. Uh, I'll uh, just this is uh, not working out really well. I guess. Damn. Anyway, let's get on. Um, that's about it. What you need to know about the uh, interface. But there are a lot of other tools in the left corner, except for a pattern window, of course. The left corner. There are a couple of tools you can use. Uh, there's the the draw tool, which just adds one note to your playlist or piano roll or uh, yeah that's it the piano roll in the p playlist just displays this. There's the draw tool just ex um, it just adds one bar every time. If you want to have a lot of bars in one go, I suggest you use the paint tool, which just creates not only one bar, but if you hold your left mouse button and you drag it, you see everything comes up in one go. That's really awesome. You can also also delete anything, but I I don't usually I don't use the delete key. I just use the delete key on my keyboard. Yeah, uh, I don't mute things often. It's it's not really handy to use this in here. The most things that um, people use in here is the draw key or the draw tool, the paint tool. Um, also, the slice tool is really important if you want to slice a couple of things in in half or anything you want. You can use it. Uh, also, the select tool for for example, if you want to have uh, a couple of things move to the bit to the right or left, just select a couple of them and drag them down. The zoom tool is really awesome as well. But um, another thing is that you can't really zoom in like this, and and it's really not working out pretty well pretty well so uh, what I usually do is uh, these two bars um, keys whatever they are um, squares you can just zoom it out and zoom it down and it's really handy if you use this these two keys so um, yeah that's about it for the playlist I guess let's see if the pattern has anything else no there's not much you need to know about the pattern anymore the piano roll is exactly the same except you have only one and you have these 
this button right here, this thing which if you add a node you'll have a volume thing you can put up and down. Don't put it up too much because that's really distorted and it doesn't really sound that great. Just put it like uh, three quarter, maybe even half. Don't don't just put it up to the maximum. That's really distorted. Um, so that's uh, about it, I guess, for this tutorial. Um, in the next tutorial, we'll start making a song. Don't worry about that. <laughs> we will start making a song. Um, if you have any questions, just drop a comment or PM me. Um, also, like, subscribe, and check out my other songs. Check out my music. Check out everything I have. Um, and thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.